Hey, welcome back guys to another video for today. I want to get into the diverging diamond interchange or the DDI. I want to show you how to build the DDI and why it's such a great interchange. Let's get started. Okay, for step number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a generic medium-sized road and stretch it over the highways that are going north and south. And right now, you're gonna look at the screen and be like, well, that looks like garbage. Like, how can we fix this? So this is where you're gonna need the Move It mod. The Move It mod is the mod where you can move roads. So what we're doing right now is we're holding down the Shift button and we're clicking on four different notes. And together, we're pressing down the page down button. So if you hold down the page button, down button, you can make that road go down really, really far. But we're not looking to do that. Just make sure the road is far enough down where you think cars and trucks can comfortably go underneath the underpass. And definitely, um, you know, I, it doesn't need to be very far underground. So the next step, what we need to do is we need to create two highway one-way paths one going to the left which is about 12 units to the left and then above we want the other road same distance apart to go 12 units to the right so this is step number two so once we have those two roads in place we need to click on what's called the free form tool at the bottom of the screen so what we're doing with the free form tool is we're just trying to connect up our diverging diamond right now. So as you can see right now, everything kind of looks hunky funky. It does not look good, but guys, eventually we will fix that. So don't worry. And as you can see, I did struggle a little bit. You can see that the intersection itself is tearing, but that's okay. So make sure the roads are all going in a circular direction and then delete that medium sized road. So, hey, we have the start of our diverging diamond. So for step number three, you're going to see that I'm using a one way road to get onto the highway. So this is a highway entrance. Then for the highway exit, you're going to see that I use a two lane road. And so you're going to have one of the two lane roads going to the right, which is the exit. And then the other one will be entering the actual diverging diamond itself. So on the screen right now, I'm grabbing the nodes and I'm kind of pulling them apart to tear the road so that they create kind of an intersection. So I will fix those eventually, but for the highway exits, make sure you're using a two lane road because you want to get as many cars off as possible. And also if you have to use node controller, to clean that up. Eventually, you know, I do, there you go. Eventually it does clean itself up and it works out pretty well. So. For, like I said before, for the for the highway entrances, so like this is our entrance, we're using a single lane road. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat the same process going the other direction. So like north to south. So we're just repeating the same process over again. So for the highway exit, again, we want the two lane road. And then we also want the two lane road going to the medium sized road. Then again, use the move it mod to move everything part. So what this is going to do is instead of creating a massive intersection where, you know, the, the left lane would be at a stoplight and crisscrossing everything. What this does is it enables traffic to keep flowing and it, it honestly creates a better overall traffic situation for the intersection itself. So for step number four, we're doing lane mathematics. So any road that is going into our diverging diamond, we are adding a two lane road. So we're updating those roads so it's two lanes. So what we're doing next is we are the main diverging diamond part, we are making upgrading to a three lane road. So then guys, this is just basic lane mathematics. So as you can see that we have the diverging diamond in place, make sure you update those roads to make sure it's a bridge. So it actually looks nice. You know, from a static point of view, you don't want land to actually, you know, just it, everything was tearing and it didn't look good. But what you, what you can also do is use the movement mod again. If you want to slightly adjust some of the, um, you know, just the off ramps or on ramps, you know, you could adjust it to what you actually want to do. 
you know, just whatever looks better for you. Then also these basic interchanges, you're using the node controller, you're stretching, you're just playing with the intersection themselves. Like right now, it does not look good. I can, I completely agree. It does not look good, but eventually it all works itself out as you kind of stretch it and move around and, you know, it just stops the tearing in general from, you know, just the action, you know, everything looks better. It's a solid intersection. So step number five is exactly why it is called a diverging diamond. And so what we're doing is you are using the TMPE traffic manager and you're making sure that the lanes are switching spots. So you could see right now on the screen that they're weaving on different sides of the diverging diamond. Again, that is why it is called a diverging diamond because we are creating lane management to where the main lanes are diverging to different sides of this actual intersection. So again, this is why it's called the diverging diamond. So guys, for step number six, we have pretty much everything in place. So what we're doing is detailing. So I'll let you guys watch the detailing montage. Um, I am also sloping out the roads, but continue watching the detailing and I'll get back to you as soon as everything is finished up. Welcome back guys to a fully detailed diverging diamond interchange. Now the diverging diamond is underrated because of the cross points that you see currently in front of you. The cross points are the reason why the diverging diamond performs so smoothly. The cross points allow for more open traffic flow between the highway and the interchange itself, which Ultimately, we're trying to create a smoother experience. The interchange is definitely very different from our normal interchange. So both sides of the diverging diamond interchange is you're gonna have dedicated on and off ramps from the highway. So there's a dedicated lane for people to go onto the highway, which will definitely, definitely help with traffic. Now we're going back to the other side. Now this is, again, we already showed this, but you can see the traffic is going back to the right side of the road. Yes, no pun intended, the right side of the road. Now, when you look at these highway exits over here, you're gonna see two lanes. And the reason why the diamond interchange is so good that you can see the dedicated left lane. Now, instead of that left lane being stuck at an intersection, creating additional traffic, that left lane is flowing into that diverging diamond and traffic does not get slowed down at all. So a couple other things I wanted to show off that you probably already noticed on the screen is I used the um, surface painter mod to create concrete and a fence barrier for the middle of the highway itself. Other things you'll notice is I used the line intersection marking tools. You could see a bunch of the fillers and stuff like that on the screen already. Now I just wanted to go through a last second, yes, a last second, just to make sure you're doing your lane management for all these. Remember, the diverging diamond, in order for it to be diverging, we need them to switch lanes. And um, lastly, you're gonna see that um, on the screen, you're gonna see I did add some bushes and stuff like that to the exit just to make it a little bit more unique. Um, I think overall, the diverging diamond is a big intersection to create in your city, Skyline City, but 
Overall, I think it's really well done when, um, you know, when it's done right. I think it works out really well. Like I said, this was to eliminate traffic lights at, you know, your intersection. So when the cars are coming off, you know, it just, it's just for better overall City Skylines traffic flow. So guys, what do you guys think of this overall Diverging Diamond? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, this took me about 20 minutes to make overall. So let me know what you guys think. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.